Hey, what is up everybody, and welcome back to yet another episode of Minecraft Time Traveler. I am back here in the future mob farm. I just started digging it a little bit more. Um, I just had a crash, it was kind of weird. Um, I, I jumped down my spiral staircase over there somewhere um, to get to the basement, and uh, it just crashed. I, I have no idea what happened. So I just I jumped down from the top there and I just had a crash. Um I should have read what the error was, I just kind of didn't for some reason. But yeah, I did I just did this and like on the second like five blocks down I crashed. That was weird. But yeah, um in this episode I am gonna start like digging this stuff out a bit maybe. Um so this needs to be three high, I think. Um, no, no, it does not. Um, this needs to go down by two, though. So, I guess we'll do that. I'm going to leave this one block here so I can get up still. But yeah, this needs to go down by two for the water streams. Um, I'm going to have to think of a way to make the water streams work. Uh, so that well, they work. And uh, I'm going to need to dig out a lot that way, basically. Um, so yeah, that, that should take a while. Um, I, I don't think I'm gonna record too much of it. Um, like, it, it's definitely gonna take a while. So yeah, I guess I will see you in a bit. Uh, yeah. That is apparently three picks worth. Good to know. Why are you going to go through so many picks digging this? So that crash I had actually gave me some free stuff because everything I had in inventories that I had taken out previously, so like in chests and furnaces, stayed in the chests and furnaces. So basically I got some free stuff, so that's kind of cool. Although it would be nice if I took like my diamonds out of a chest and then had the crash rather than just taking a few pieces of iron out of a furnace. Yeah, I'm digging this stuff out here. I'm trying to figure out how many pads I should have. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay. And then, yeah, yeah, that's perfect actually. Because then there'll be another stream here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, so what I'm going to have is I'm going to have streams here going into a mainstream here. Uh, and I uh, don't know how I'm going to do that yet. I'll figure it out though. But yeah, I'm going to have eight. I'm going to have pads eight wide, eight deep. Maybe I'm going to have it go two pads in as well. So there's basically twice as many pads as there would be. Um, I haven't figured that much out yet, but this only needs to be two tall, because mobs don't jump yet. Well, hmm, actually they do. Oh, uh, yeah, two's fine. Two, two should be fine. If we need to, we can waste three million pickaxes on this later. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make the pads on this side first, and then I'm gonna do the exact same on the other side. Um, it'll be symmetrical, I think. Yeah. So yeah, let me dig this out. Okay, so this is one pad done now. Um, just gonna dig this out for the water streams, but yeah, this is one pad and. Uh, I'm just thinking, maybe, um, so if I like pretend to be a mob, um, I don't think mobs, when they walk off into the stream, I don't think they'll be able to get back up onto the stream, even though the water should, would be like right here. So I'm just thinking, like, I can make it this all so much easier on myself if I just have 
the water stream here and then have another stream here instead of having to like do some weird junction thing here to join them together properly but I don't know I, I could just I could be wrong but I'll, I'll, I'll see what happens I guess um, I'll do it like this now uh, the only problem with this is that if I need to like go light this back up so I can work on it more I would need to go across the whole thing lighting it up with torches manually because we don't have any form of redstone contraptions yet. We have redstone, but we don't have, like, cool stuff yet. So, yeah, um... Because this is eight blocks long, yeah? So, this would be perfect for one water stream. Um, and this would be great for spiders as well, because it's... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Technically, this should be three wide, rather than two wide. Because spiders would... Otherwise, climb easier. I don't know. We'll test it. This is so boring. This is taking like forever. Help me! Alright, so, um, it's been a week. I haven't m had much time to play. Yeah, it's been a week since I last recorded. Um, I finished digging this side of the wall. Um,. And now as I think about it, I'm definitely going to need to triple this. So, one more that way and two that way, basically. Um, for this to be effective, I guess. Um, oh yeah, uh, previously before this clip, I forgot to, perhaps to record at 60 FPS, but it's recording at 60 now, so that's all good. Uh, hopefully you don't mind... It being it's only 30 earlier, it should be fine, it shouldn't be that noticeable, I guess. Um, I used up pretty much all of my stone picks. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, got, I've got a lot done in this episode, but I, I know, I, I still have loads of time to record, but I need to record some other stuff because this is less important. Um, I'm going to see what I can come up with for, like, the next 10 minutes, I guess. Um, we can start doing some water stream stuff, actually, so, um, I need to find some water over there, it's good, there's some water. I'll also need to make a new shovel. Um, yeah. Okay, we'll take it from here. Cool. Um, I haven't chopped down any wood for a long time, but all the trees have grown in my farm. Uh, yeah, let me make a shovel real quick here. Now it is not cold stone. Wait, do I have... I have iron for it, but... Nah. I'll just make two stone shovels. Yeah, alright, so let's jump down here. And uh, let's make uh, an infinite water source here, I guess. So if we do this... The water's gonna go to here, which is good. And then, if we do this, the water's only gonna go up to here, which is bad. That means we need to come up with some kind of way of making water carry on here for two more blocks, and then not carry on here. Um, so, uh, I should have kept my resources. I'll be right back with some stuff that I just came up with. I have got a skeleton in my house. How did you come in here? Okay then. Um, I'm going to need to do some surveillance. He came from about here. He couldn't have come up that. Whoa, where did he come from? 
Is there a bit of unlit area somewhere? You could have wandered in from there, but I thought I made sure that you can't. From there, maybe? No, you can't get in. Um, what's this light level at? Uh, 14, 13. Uh, yeah, I guess that's 13. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Uh, that should be bright enough. Huh, where did he come from? He must have gone down these stairs here. This should all be lit up enough. You couldn't just come from there, because that's blocked off. And that should be lit up, but I'll put a torch there in anyway. Um, well, I don't know. That, that's kind of scary. Because what, what if that was a creeper and I didn't hear it, hear him come? That would just killed me and blew everything up. Put a torch here. Yeah. Should be safe enough, I guess. I I also guess that uh, my stuff has finished cooking here now. I've cooked up a bunch of stone to make some stone pressure plates. Uh, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use them to hold some water back. Um, okay, so. I'm gonna make a whole bunch. That portal is annoying, I know. Okay, um, fresh plates won't be enough. We also need some signs. Okay, we have some signs. Uh, I I think we only need two, so that's that's fine. Okay, so let's just jump down here, I guess. Um, this should be lit up enough. And so should everything here be. Okay, so... If we... Put some... Pressure plates... Here. I think. No, pressure plates here. Can't put fresh plates there though. Um, we might need four signs actually. Yeah, we'll need four signs. Um, so there's going to be water placed on this sign, which will then flow down to here. Um, oh, I don't know. What if we place more pressure plates? The water's then gonna go back into this direction, won't it? Which isn't what we want. Yeah, we don't want that. Unless we trick the water. We we'll place these first. We'll do this. And then we break this. Nope. That's updated the water. Oh boy. It will work, however, if I break these signs first. I mean, those pressure plates. It didn't work, how dare you. Do, do water mechanics work slightly differently in this version, I wonder? Because this shouldn't happen. Okay then, so what do we do? Um, this is awkward. Okay, well if I break those. It's pointless to break the signs because I'm going to need them anyway there.
Okay, so... How can I do this? Okay, if I place... You know what, let me get some signs first, because I'm going to need all of them. I, th I feel. Okay, I know how the skeleton got in. He came in from here and he used the leaves to get up. So, okay, that's still broken then, I guess. Um, damn, I don't know how to fix that farm. It's a pain in the arse. The grass is all grown here now. That's good. Okay, uh, I'll have to wait until day. I have a pool of water here now. Basically, mobs will be slowed down in this pool of water and they will be less likely to enter the base and despawn earlier. Cool. It's still pretty useless though. Man, this place just isn't safe. He fell twice now. There's a lot of skeletons around. Let's not go out. This feels a lot more open now. But yeah, um, mobs can get in through the farm, so um, I don't think I'm going to replant the trees now uh, because it's too dangerous, they'll just get back in. Because when the leaves grow up here, mobs can jump onto the leaves. Um, and also the leaves still break the fences, so uh, I'm going to have to like do something about that. Um, I think I'm going to make the fence be in line with that fence there, and then... It's fine on that level because leaves won't grow on that on the bottom level of the tree. However, leaves can grow from this tree as far as that. So, yeah, I'll just have to move the fence back a whole bunch um, and around here as well. It it will be fine. I'm just not going to plant any trees now because too dangerous. But yeah, got a fair bit of wood there. Lots of saplings. All is good. Let's go make some signs. Okay, so... Saplings. Lots of wood. Lots of signs. We're not going to make that many. Yeah, that should be enough. Put this back. Cool. So now let's go back down and then we'll have to start thinking about ending the episode. Um, it's it's, it's uh, been fairly long, I guess. Uh, okay. Signs. Signs. Yeah, okay, so if I put a sign there and a sign there, it's a small d. Uh, okay, so if I put signs there, and then... Crap, uh... Signs here, and signs there. And maybe it won't go down there. Maybe. Crap, it still does. 
Uh, what if we don't let it? So that's it has to. Okay, let me take both of these. Yeah. Let's do that again. Okay. Ah! Why does it want to go down there? There's no point in it going there. In modern Minecraft, this would never happen. Okay. What I'm also going to want to do is have it something like this. So that everything finishes here and then the water stream carries on and then does the exact same thing as it did here basically. This seems more difficult than it than it should be. Um Okay. It might be easier if I lower this by one. I'm I'm just gonna see. I'd have to do the exact same thing on the opposite side as well though, um, and make sure it works from that direction as well. Which it should, but there's no guarantee in that. Cool. So now we've got something like this going on here. Uh, no, we want that sign there. I mean. This is the same thing pretty much, it does the exact same job here. Um, yeah, and then if we do something like that and signs all along here. You get rid of this as well, I think. And move the signs along a bit. Yeah, this should work now. Yeah, okay, that works. That was harder to do than it looks like. And now that looks funny, but it's functional. Okay, so imagine I'm a mob. I'm just jumping around now. I'm, I'm not pressing any keys. Just, my, just me as a mob. Yeah, that works. Cool. So we're going to need to get... I have a whole bunch of signs. And, uh, gonna need to move this every time, probably. It's a pain to go back for. And we'll need to lower all of this by one as well. Okay, so, yeah, I don't have enough signs to finish this, but I guess I'll just go get some. The concept is here, but there's no point in me finishing the water streams now, because... Um, they're not going to be functional anyway, because I'm still digging all of this stuff. But yeah, we've got the concept done now, which is good, and now I can't get back. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll block this up now, and that is it. Yeah, I, I guess that will be it for this episode. We figured the water streams out, um, we figured out how many of these pads we want, so it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, times by 4, so we're going to have 20 pads in total, 5 more there and 10 there. Um, this won't be like the finished farm, like we'll probably make more different ones and then like different places I guess. But yeah, uh, this is it for now. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to click the like button. If you want to see more, click the subscribe button and the notification bell. I couldn't speak the notification bell. And I'll see you all in maybe two weeks' time when I bother to record this again. So yes, thank you for watching. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Playing as Steve because my skin doesn't load. Thanks for watching, have a good day, bye bye.